Powers, the Pentagon, and a field in Pennsylvania claimed nearly 3,000 lives and injured more than 6,000 people. At the Twin Towers site in New York, over 2,700 people lost their lives. Of that number, 343 were New York City firefighters and EMS personnel. Also killed were 60 police officers. Sadly, this number will increase because of the toxic atmosphere that the responders worked in during the rescue and recover, recovery operations at Ground Zero. All across America, monuments have been built, some with pieces from the fallen Twin Towers, along with the rolling memorials, fire apparatus, police vehicles, and EMS rigs that have murals and words of tribute to those fallen heroes. These monuments and memorials were created to remember those who lost their lives on that horrific day and to never forget 9-11. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that. Um, I just want to say one thing before we have a moment of silence. Uh, think of the soldier, 18 years old, uh, when 9-11 happened. Maybe 19 years old, he had a baby, and he shipped off to Afghanistan. Just think about a couple months ago, perhaps that same soldier was home worrying about that same kid, but this time his kid was in Afghanistan instead of him. Ranged over 20 years. Let's have a moment of silence, please. I'd like to introduce Mr. Sheldon Howard. He was there during the attack in 9 11. I'd welcome him up here uh, to tell a little bit about his, his experience. Hello, everyone. I always feel a little guilty saying good morning on 9-11. Um, my name is Sheldon Howard. I'm a retired New York City police captain. I was in the South Tower lobby when the plane hit. I stand in order today in front of you as I address a group of people that include my heroes. I see a group of veterans, heroes amongst us, who went off to war, come home after giving up years of their lives, and are supposed to go on like nothing ever happened. I'm a speak speaker today, but I think we need to once again hear their stories before these people we lose these people when they pass on. Too many stories, too much history, too much sacrifice, too much greatness that have not been fully recognized. And I just wanted to say that in front of you because you are my heroes. I look out and I see volunteer firefighters people who selflessly give up their, up their time through this life and land 
on behalf of this community. I can't think of a greater sacrifice. And then, of course, there are my police officer brothers, the guardians against evil, the defenders of the weak, and the last line of defense against right versus wrong. I envy you that you have the greatest job in the world. And as I share my experience, I know that the torch has been passed on and you proudly serve, and I am grateful every day for your service. God bless you. So prior to working as a police officer, my wife and I worked in the World Trade Center complex. So the towers and its associated buildings have a very special meaning to us. Many people don't realize that the World Trade Center consisted of more than just two buildings, it's actually seven. We worked in the Vista Hotel before I was a police officer, which is actually, ironically, the site of the 93 bombing. Well, on the morning of September 11, 2001, I was the Queen South duty captain assigned to cover primary election, so I was up and the chief hadn't got out of bed yet. Um, and I was on the Queens Manhattan border when I got a digital transmission of a plane to hit the World Trade Center. Having worked in the World Trade Center for many years, and it also being on file with the police department that I had knowledge of the underground tunnels that connected the World Trade Center buildings. I turned to the sergeant who was driving me that day, because it was election day, I didn't have my normal police officer driver, and said, let's roll. I parked my police car in front of the buildings. It was only about two years ago that the memory came back to me that I didn't go home in that police car because it had been crushed by the towers when they collapsed. We immediately started a red tag operation of evacuating people from the buildings. What a lot of people don't realize is that the second tower hit was the first tower to fall. I never saw any of the planes hit. I was in a patrol car for the first one, and I was in the lobby of the second building when the building made a sound that I'll never forget, and it began to shake. It used to be decorated with chandeliers in the lobby, and the chandeliers hit the floor. I remember seeing some friends of mine who had worked with the police department for 15 years show up, and one I'll speak about shortly, who was the face of 9-11 for me. And we just kept evacuating people. We decided to take turns in case something happened with the buildings. So I was about, well, maybe 